Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So I got some pretty bad news, but in all reality, it might be a blessing in disguise. I'm not truly sure, but um, from what I can see, we are about to not have any One Punch Man this week, which kind of sucks, but at least two of our shows that are absolutely hype, or good at least, so... With this episode of you know, we really get to see where all of this um, like ridiculous power or not even just power, but this ridiculous amount of technology inside of this place and how it's uh, been there even longer than, uh, you know, how long they expected the people who they knew who were here already or who had lived long enough to tell the tale about this place. Oh, I got them both at the same time. It's sick. <laughs> um, but whoever was around to, like, create this place or was around to even, you know, talk about it and get the information out there, um, they're the ones who really are capable of telling us, you know, what their stories were, and that's about it. And from the hindsights of it all, they might not have even you know, it's gotten any type of information as, or as much information as like our main characters have from just going in behind people who have already tried and left their marks behind. Um, we learned that one of the people that had gone down there and actually lost her life was someone who actually learned of the react, the reactor flux device or the flux device, um, and knew his father so to see that and to actually read that note or to like read those words off of that note um, triggered the girl that I pretty much was trying to figure out what the heck was up with her, you know, focusing on our boy, not only just focusing on him, but ever since we actually got a good look at what the whole um, idea of what it looked like to be mind controlled or like the powers that the guy is just capable of using in general. Once we finally saw that, it was clear to me that whatever he was doing, it affected her over time. Like it keeps on affecting her because he's done it to her. And it was a, it's like a dead giveaway every time she gets a headache and stuff like that. But it's almost as if she's breaking into your mind or even leaving a kind of kill switch in there. And then if anything that happens as regards to kill switch goes off, they just start doing whatever they think they have to do that you put in their mind. So very, very interesting at that uh, instance. I don't really know where um, she's going to end up in this whole ordeal after this. Because, I mean, our guy gets inside of a coffin, falls through the, uh, the coffin... And winds up, you know, all the way at the bottom of a lake. You know, like, she looks down and kind of somehow figures out that that's exactly where he has gone. I think it's more of the case because of him screaming and her following the actual noise. But, that's anyone's guess how she just knew exactly where to look. And after looking there, not being like, oh, maybe this coffin already was like this. No, she was like, yeah, this is probably where he fell down for some reason. So, really weird stuff there. Um, but overall, getting to find uh, like out that whatever they were doing this week inside of the tunnel uh, <laughs> got you that one guy who pretty much ruined all this killed. I was dying. I was like, that's what you get, bro. Like, are you kidding me? You come down here, you do you do all the stuff that you did beforehand to get us in this situation, and then once you think you're getting close enough to save somebody so you can look like the hero, you can look like the first one that's running in. Yeah, I'm going to actually be that person. Even though he ended up dying, I'm still going to tell it how it is. I don't care. This character is trash after what he's done. This man 
was like, oh, look, it's her backpack. And then he picks it, uh, our main character picks it up, examines it a little bit. He's like, yeah, she took out her notebook, but everything else is still here. So she's pretty much stranded with none of the stuff she brought and only has a notebook. And this guy, Yuki, oh, my God. He just assumes she must be like in a straight line from where we are or I should be able to smell her perfume at any time or something you know like this guy is not intelligent enough to be down in a place where if any of this stuff gets out to the public they probably would be uh, you know killed off or I'm pretty sure nobody from this uh, you know the creation of this area would like having all the you know their business out there so to think that they wouldn't have booby traps when we've seen booby traps and as far back as uh, pyramids and stuff it's like you really think some people back then didn't have secrets to hide you know like come on but of course this kid's thinking completely out of emotion and trying to save someone he truly likes and cares about blah 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 but yet <laughs> because he does this he straight up falls through the ground winds up busting his back uh, into some spikes so he literally gets impaled by multiple spikes and pretty much dies but since our main character is a good guy he goes back in time yells at him in a way that you know would make him I guess not hate himself too much but at least enough to know that hey I'm you're not coming like I'm I'm doing this without you and you can't come uh, so I don't know. It's very, very interesting when it comes down to just how they're playing out that aspect of how this all, you know, turned out that he was going to die if he ends up doing what he's doing. But then once he goes back and actually tries to repeat everything that was done, he gets a completely new outcome. So it's this really weird moments of now that he's kind of gotten the hang of when he should probably hit the button and then be able to go back now oh no uh now it's a factor of why uh why is different stuff happening if you don't come in here with yuki and why is different stuff happening now when you came in here with this girl uh the teacher instead so very very interesting uh but yeah, she is pretty much under the mind control of that guy that had the pistol in the first place. Her showing up with the gun was not surprising seeing how she's been continuously giving us hints that she's being controlled in some way, shape, or form. So that wasn't too uh, like too shocking to me that that happened. So it just sucks that he's all the way down in a place he now might be seeing his mother after spending so much time in this area of unknown origins and he so he saw he's like we're gonna get out of this alive i promise it alive we get out alive but he hasn't not once talked about the person up top with a gun who was just chasing him to find himself here you know what i mean so there's a lot of things this man is hiding as of right now, but at the same time, it's smart to hide it from somebody who's already terrified of just dying alone in this place and now dying with just one friend because they couldn't escape. But also, if you go and tell her that there's a killer on the loose, I don't know how she would feel about that. So, with all that being said, my anime people, I hope you guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever the case may be when you're watching this. I'm your boy, the Anime G. And I can't wait to talk to you guys in the next one. Too bad there will not be any uh, One Punch Man, sadly. So we will have to just bow and, you know, say uh, arigatouzaimasu for what we've already gotten. So gratitude and peace.